Hello everyone in this video, let us learn how to use Groovy to create a file in your file system. So today let us take a look at how we can create a file or write something to your file system. And this is really important because when you are using Groovy, you would most likely be using it for doing some automation and when you're doing some automation uh, you will be required to uh, create a file or write something to a file or maybe you know move a file from one place to another place like one server to another server and uh, it is of course a very important and uh, crucial thing to learn and uh, since we are talking about learning Groovy from time to time in between uh, I will be uh, making sure that we all get our hands dirty. Of course, we are learning Ruby and we are trying to understand how it works. Uh, we are going through the fundamentals, but uh, uh, I think if you learn a language with uh, some uh, practical use cases in mind and when you actually solve a problem, it really makes it uh, interesting. So without wasting uh, any more time, I want to quickly get start get started with the script here. And uh, this script is actually all, is very simple as you can see here. All I'm doing is I'm uh, simply first trying to find the location of uh, my script. So if I let us say comment out everything or if I just uh, let us say uh, try to identify the current working direct, di directory. So basically the place or uh, the, the location where this particular Groovy file is located. So this, this can be really important because uh, uh, you might need to know uh, where exactly is your Groovy script located because when you're writing some piece of code on your computer or on development environment, it is probably working fine, but eventually it might be moved to a different location. So whenever you're working with locations or file uh, locations, uh, you have to make sure that uh, you are using some kind of relative uh, uh, location so that the script always works. Uh, so using this system.get get property uh, and then you can pass this parameter user.dir uh, it will actually get you the current location of your uh, of your uh, directory where this particular groovy file is currently situated and then i'm going to use a simple uh, variable like file name to define the file or the name of the file that I want to create. Of course, we are trying to create a text-based file. It could be a txt file, it could be maybe some JSON file. So it really depends how you want to create a file. It could be any type. The content could be you know anything, but it is a text-based file. So that is something really important here. And then we have to, of course, define this file object. And if you are, let us say, running this particular piece of code, uh, uh, maybe in uh, an environment where you don't have this uh, file uh, class available for you, you can always import. So right now it is not it is not really required, but if you have to import this, you can do it using uh, uh, import java.io.file. I'm doing it within IntelliJ, so it is uh, not really required here, but in case you need to, you can uh, do this import. So before I actually uh, create a file, I may also want to add some content to it. So this content is something that you can uh, maybe write yourself. It could be a string, like maybe you can define a variable, like define uh, my file content. And then you can uh, specify your file content here that uh, this is my file um, and uh, we are going to write it. And when you have this file content, then you need to pass this uh, to your uh, file.write method. So by the way, if you're using IntelliJ, you can uh, see that we have a lot of, uh, a lot of comfort when uh, writing code we can quickly figure out uh, what all we can do with file. Uh, so right now you can see here that uh, uh, it says that the input 
or rather I should say the parameter should be of type string. Now I can use this, uh, you know, autocomplete in IntelliJ, uh, although it's not very complicated, but uh, it is always good to know. It makes your life easy. Uh, so you need to just pass your file content uh, variable that we just uh, created. And if we run this uh, piece of code, what it will do, it will uh, probably print the location of the file. So you can see here that the location is uh, uh, under my SRC, IN, uh, Ravi Sagar and so on. Let me just you know, get rid of uh, some of the lines on top. So you can see very quickly. So this, this is my file, uh, this is my complete code. And uh, if you uh, want to take a look at the file, you can go and take a look uh, in your terminal. So let us say if you go to the directory, the directory that uh, we uh, just saw in the output, you can verify whether this code is working or not. So if I do a cat, you can see here that uh, I was able to write it to this particular uh, file. And by the way, you can, uh, you know, get rid of the file. Let me just, you know, remove the file uh, for you. So I'll just remove the file and I'll create it again. And we can always, uh, you know, check using Groovy whether this uh, file exist, exists al already or not. So let me just uh, find the file. So this is my file. I'll get rid of it. And uh, if we do a cat, there is no such file, but I can, of course, run the code again. And uh, after running the code, I can uh, again verify whether the file is uh, written or not. So you can see here that it's a very simple way to uh, create a file and also to write something to it. And uh, right now, if you are, let us say, uh, going to test it on your environment, it will definitely work. But in reality, when you're doing such things, you're trying to write to a file, you're trying to create a file, uh, always do some error checking. In later videos, we will definitely take a look at how to do uh, exception handling. For example, in this, in this particular case, uh, if your uh, file, uh, let us say the, the, the directory or the path is invalid, so it won't work. Let us say if I, type it here, maybe some, let, let me change the directory, which is like ABC. So there is no such directory as ABC. And if I now run this particular piece of code, let us see what will happen. So let me just open it for you. So this will give you this uh, file not found uh, exception. So this is of course expected, but the problem here is that if you're running this particular piece of code, uh, uh, maybe on a different server or maybe this particular piece of code is doing something uh, which is part of uh, maybe some bigger logic, uh, your whole script will fail. So whenever you are writing uh, code in any language, of course, uh, always do these error checks so that uh, if a small piece of code or the small uh, method that you're writing, right now we're just uh, uh, writing this particular piece of code uh, without creating any methods or functions, uh, this is of course it, like uh, one after another, like some series of uh, statements, but uh, when the, this particular piece of code is uh, going to be implemented, maybe in a bigger uh, use case or logic that we're trying to uh, create, or maybe a problem we are trying to solve, we will probably use a, a method where we will use this code. So if this particular piece of code or this method is going to fail to create a file, uh, catch those exceptions so that uh, your overall code doesn't fail. So we'll of course talk about uh, those aspects in uh, in uh, future videos. We will learn about uh, how to do error handling and how to catch errors. We have to also learn about how to declare methods. And of course, uh, uh, in this particular video series, in this particular uh, Mastering Groovy series, we, we are trying to learn uh, Groovy uh, and we're of course trying to go through the fundamentals, but uh, we will only cover those aspects that will get you started very quickly. So if, if you're watching this uh, series, maybe, uh, you know, back to back, uh, don't treat it as a complete uh, uh, 
reference or it's not really a, a, a course or a video series to uh, replace a textbook. I'm trying to basically give you enough information that you need to know to get started with the Groovy and, uh, and uh, solve some actual real life uh, problems. So this is all I wanted to share in this video. I hope you learned something new today and you uh, enjoyed watching this video. Thank you very much.